What's up, I'm Callie. This is Killington After Dark. We are here at The Lookout, and I managed to catch up with a couple of the members from Team Canada. What's your name? My name is Jay. Jay, and your name? Magic Mike. Magic Mike. Magic Mike. I have a Magic Mike, too. What do you think about that, hombre? Oh, no, not special. What makes you so magical? Can you breathe fire? Yes, I can. You can breathe fire? Go. Request, but I could show you something. You can't breathe fire on request. Can you? Oh, you got card tricks. What is the name of this trick? Just a card trick. I don't. Just a card trick with Magic Mike, who cannot breathe fire on request. All right, what are we looking at? You can't see that, right? There was two cards there. Was there supposed to be one? I just want to let you know because we can edit that out. Is that a yes or is that a no? Anyone I want, anyone I want. Show the camera. Don't show. Magic Mike, I am picking a card. I am showing it to the camera. You guys see that? All right, I'm putting it back here. And Magic Mike is shuffling the cards. You do that very well, by the way. Yeah. If you see it again, you'll remember it? Yes, I will. Is it this one? No. No. No, it's not that one. It's not the top one either, is it? No. It's somewhere in the middle. I'm assuming that it's not, if it's not the top or the bottom, it's somewhere in the middle. Oh, oh, we got a loose card. Gentlemen, oh, what is that? Was it? Oh, it was that one. Magic Mike. Just a card trick. It works. Still no fire. All right. <laughs> so, now when did you guys get into town? Uh, we got here yesterday at, uh, yeah, about two in the afternoon. And you guys are kind of a, like, um, almost like, Almost like a little bit of a Canadian circus here in town. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tradition that's been going on 21 years. We have the uh, lanyards to prove it. It's a 21-year tradition that these guys have been going on. Uh, I happen to, this happened to be my first one, but uh, my God, am I making up for the years. <laughs> <laughs> Which is all that really matters. Now, what does one need to do to become part of Team Canada? Uh, well, you have to live in Canada. Okay. And that's loosely based because, you know, there are some guys who uh, come from the West Virginia, Maryland area. So, uh, other than that, you got to just be, uh, you know, want, want to go out and have a good time and want so, to party somewhere. So, the number one rule is you have to live in Canada, but a variety of members don't actually live in Canada. Well, there's three of them, but they're, uh, they're, they're adopted Canadians. You know, they're good times. They're we, let them, we let them come. What makes them uh, have the ability to be an adopted Canadian? Oh, just be able to have a good time. You know, come on out and party and uh, have a couple of drinks and... Not cause any trouble and just have some fun and a bunch of laughs. That's really all it's about. Okay, so 21 years you've been coming to Killington? Uh, yeah, they've been coming to Killington for 21 years, yeah. Okay, very cool. Now you're a late joiner. What's your name? Yeah, I would kiss you with the lights on. You what? I would kiss you with the lights on. You would kiss me with the lights on. I'm not really sure where to go from there. That's probably the first time that I've heard that. That's not your name, I'm assuming. If it is, your parents have a really weird sense of humor. What's your name? I'm Mike. Mike. I would say that I probably wouldn't kiss you at all. I don't want to be too mean, but that's where I'm going with that. You put the cards on the table. Magic Mike's excited because that's just the card trick. So, you know, you open that door. I'm just following up with your material. Now, are you from Canada? I, I am, yeah. Yes, you are. Okay. Can we get a good A for the camera? Absolutely not, no. No? Are you mad that your material just got shot down? No, I'm good. Okay. I'd still kiss you. <laughs> Very good. All right, gentlemen. So, this is your shining TV moment. This is Team Canada. This is serious stuff. This is the lookout. Is there a message? Is there a theme for Team Canada that you want to deliver? Good times, lots of laughs. Have a good time wherever you go, eh? I like that. And what about you, sir? I got nothing. I got nothing. He came in strong, he ended cold. This is Team Canada, okay? We are here at the lookout, and I'm sure we're gonna run into you guys a little later on, too. Oh, absolutely, yeah, for sure. Long weekend. I'm sure you'll be, what is it, out in a boot? Yeah, out and about. <laughs> Very good, stay tuned. Hey, buddy, welcome back to the lookout. Slater, I had caught up with Michelle, who took off uh, a little time from her duties down at Sushi Yoshi, Killington's premiere. 
Japanese and Chinese gourmet restaurant down the street to come up and tell us about the Iron Chef 4 contest coming up to benefit the Humane Society. And we've included John this week because why? I understand John is not only a judge, but I understand he's a judge that'll do almost anything. I am. The price I'm is so right. excited to have my microphone, I just don't even know what to do. I told Callie, <laughs> Callie ain't getting that back, you know that. Michelle, welcome to the show. Good to see you again. Oh, good to see you too, Slato. Yeah. He's, he is good. How am I doing? How am I doing? <laughs> he's good. Tell you what, Michelle, give us a little info about the Sushi Yoshi Iron Chef Forge coming up this Wednesday, March 2nd. It's uh, Wednesday, March 2nd at 8 p.m. And we have 10 teams, uh, various businesses on the road, cooking on the hibachi grill. Uh, John this year is going to be a judge. I plan on fasting until Wednesday. <laughs> I understand you can really pig out when you, when you want to or have to. We'll see. But I'm, I'm not eating until Wednesday. Uh, now, has Mr. McGar been a judge in the past? He has not. He's a first-timer. No. We've had a lot of people, been judges twice, cooked a couple times, but John... I was a competitor once, but I don't think anybody wants that again. Oh, wait a minute. You were a competitor. Yeah, we had, there was a little exploding uh, fry-later action going on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed that one. How do I get on board to be a, uh, a judge someday? I might just pick you next year. Steve Kent was one last year. I would be honored. That would be awesome. You want to be my date? Absolutely. As long as you behave yourself this year. Uh, now, tell us a little bit about, I know it's a benefit. Tell us more about that. Benefiting the Rutland County Humane Society this year. So um, we're asking everyone to bring, like, pet donations, and then we're going to have raffles, we're giving away a um, bunch of great stuff, various businesses on the road donated stuff. I saw you down at Northern Ski Works getting a little uh, right. swag Mary, today. Mary hooked me up today. Uh, she should. Now, um, I was going to say, I know it's a serious event in that it's uh, for a very worthy cause. However, I know also there's some uh, gaiety involved and some fun, uh, maybe some costumes to be had there. A lot of teams wear costumes, and uh, I'm hoping maybe some of the judges will wear them this year. Maybe a little yeah, chicken costume. Maybe I'll dress like a concubine. You never know. <laughs> Now, Michelle, I know you didn't bring that prop just for anything. Let's, uh, we got a little information right there in case you need to read it. It's Iron Chef 4. So Wednesday, March 2nd, if you're in town, right at the Sushi Yoshi. And we got a little earlier start this year, you told me, right? It started a little later in the past, correct? 8 o'clock this year, we're going to hold it in the uh, new room that they built over the summer. So it'll be re really private, but it'll still be a lot of fun. Fantastic. George McGar, any last thoughts? I'm excited. Can't wait. We'll see you all there. All right, Wednesday, March 2nd, check it out at Sushi Yoshi. Thanks, you guys.